Hi everybody out there, this is Daniel Kiffler from Sticky Fingers TV. I'm standing here with Snowy Shaw and Nippe. Yeah. Tonight they're gonna witness the band. Okay, so what are you looking forward to tonight, Mr. Shaw? It's my birthday, so that's why I'm here. Then I'm just <laughs> Happy celebrating birthday, baby. baby. <laughs> No, just a fun night out and see uh, the Alice Cooper band, basically. So, have it, good jam, I think. Yeah. To catch a glimpse of Alice himself. <laughs> yes, yeah. I heard about yeah. that. So, um, if we can include Alice Cooper in the 70s, 80s, and 90s area, which one would you prefer? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Goes without question. I mean, I stopped caring after Goes to Hell, basically. Yeah. 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 Uh, 70s. That's yeah. my. That's yeah. my. Right. Sorry, that's not so so easy to say that, but I mean, basically, I stopped. Yeah. I mean, I love the '70s stuff. Yeah. That's what I like. Actually, I like, I like the uh, one of the, the later the later albums. I think in in the '70s era, they from the inside. I think is a good yeah, album. Yeah, from the inside, it's a wonderful yeah. album. But and also, I mean, if we take a sort of a shortcut over to the '90s, I, th I think when it sort of came back and did the garage thing again, yeah, I love that, that that's yeah. good. But I mean, the '80s, I'm not such a big fan of the the, the hair metal. The structure is not your record. No, no, no. Uh, That's what I got into, yeah, yeah. but I discovered the say in the 70s. Yeah. So let me ask you, what's, what's, what's your favorite song with Alice Cooper? I should say something from Welcome to My Nightmare, probably. Uh, or I Love the Dead. Can you imagine, 1973, that was a huge hit song on the charts, singing about necrophilia. <laughs> that couldn't happen today, right? <laughs> it couldn't. Uh, I would say, um, I was like, uh, hello, hooray. Hello, Ray. Great yeah. song. Oh my God, what an opener. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What an opener. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's a great I, song. I, saw, I saw them doing that song a couple of years ago, and I, I never thought I would hear that, that one live ever. So that was, that was kind of a crazy thing to see. And yeah, was really following good. up with Elected right yeah, after yeah. that, I mean, such a fantastic yeah, song. Yeah, yeah. Have you heard the song Reflected? No. And all, no. I mean, all those on Print is for You and all those songs. Yeah, but I mean, it's like a, they reworked the whole thing. So, so yeah. Really? No, yeah, yeah. So actually, it's uh, the skeleton from that song came from a couple of albums previously, or really? prior to that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, what are you looking forward to? The new record, Paranormal. I yeah, know it's, it's kind of good no, I, mean, I do that because I heard a couple of songs. I Me think. Too, yeah. yeah, this it sounds, sounds good. Yeah, it sounds really good, and uh, it seems like uh, uh, he was doing it with Bob Esrin again, and, and yeah. finally, it sounds it sounds that's, like that's the fucking keyword, yeah, Bob yeah. Esrin. That's yeah. the shit. Yeah. And, 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 and they do it the right way, I think. I mean, they did it, they did the uh, the last uh, Welcome to My Nightmare two a couple of years ago, but that was kind of mishmash, and I didn't really like that. But I listened to it a little bit, but yeah, yeah, I. I had a little hard time getting into it, really. You know. So just uh, fast, uh, I know you guys are musicians and you're legendary in this town. So what are you doing right now, Snow? You ought to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah no. Now, but actually, I'm, I'm putting out a, a video as of today. Actually, it's called "Be Kind to Animals or I Kill You." Tied to a campaign and slash video new song and all that. Yeah, so I'm, I'm doing all kinds of shit. I mean, I'm pretty much juggling like 100 balls simultaneously all the time. Yeah. Okay. Is that something that you really feel you for? The animals, the right? Animals, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, I'm, I'm actually doing a book, I'm making a book right now, designing a book uh, about Kiss. Designing a book. <laughs> yeah, so it's, uh, it's actually written by a. Uh, yeah, Carl. Yeah, Carl and, and uh, it's based on stories and pictures from from uh, from Johan uh, Schilberg and Max Vastjord who used to, to to run the Swedish Kiss Army for a lot for a lot of years. So Isn't it's like, that amazing? I mean, they can just put out so many Kiss books because what we all got in common. I figured that much that all the people I know all over the world we have one thing in common: Kiss. <laughs> So Hot, Hotter Than Hell was my first record. Yeah, yeah. Your first Kiss record. Let me tell you, I was like, you know, grew up in, in the suburbs here, and I just, I was like so much into the werewolf and Dracula and all the the, the the horror thing, and then I discovered this thing that looked like an LP, like a you know, like a vinyl, and and with the, those fantastic you know oil paintings, like what is this? I don't know. Is it some sort of calendar or whatever it is? 
I gotta have it no matter what it is. <laughs> and it was like this fantastic album, Kiss Destroyer, produced by Bob Estrin. Yeah, so I was like, wow, I was completely blown away. And it's like, you can listen to it, you know, and it was like a movie was played in your head. You know, it was like the soundtrack with all the cars crashing yeah. and all that stuff. So it was fantastic. Yeah. And I, I gotta fucking tell you, like, 40 years later, this is what I still has as a goal. Okay, it should be like that. When I went to st Studio Fred, man, like in uh, December last year, I was like, okay, we're gonna mix this song. You, you're famous all over the world for the, for the Gothenburg death metal sound, but I'm not interested in that. So ignore that crap. I'm after your ears and open Spotify and, and open up Kiss Destroyer and Rainbow Rising, both from 1976. That's how it should be. <laughs> Take a finger TV!